Hey everybody, um, it's chestnut season so I thought I'd make a little video to help us identify chestnuts that we find in the wild and mainly to help distinguish between uh, their poisonous cousin, the horse chestnut. Now this is particularly confusing in French because in French the, this is the edible version. This is called a châtaigne and in, in the inedible version is called a marron and this is the marron. But as you may know, you can eat crème de marron or Marron glacé. They call, often they call this a marron when in fact this is the marron and this is not edible. Um, this is poisonous. According to my research, this isn't going to kill you if you eat it, but it will make you sick. It will make you nauseous, sick to your stomach, and make you want to throw up. Well, this is edible. Um, so, first, just looking at them, it's quite easy to tell them apart when you're looking at them side by side. So this is the inedible horse chestnut or conker that they call them in English. A marron that they call them in French. And you can see it has these spikes, but the spikes are far apart. They're almost a quarter inch apart and they're very short, only maybe a couple millimeters long. If we compare that to the chestnut, the edible chestnut, the spikes are, are very long. And there are lots and lots and lots of them. The whole thing, the whole husk is all covered with them going in all different directions. So if you find them with the husks on, very easy to tell the difference. So I've taken them out of the husks and you might find them out of their husks. Um, and you'll still want to be able to identify them. And so we can identify them here. And you can see that they look similar, but they look different. Now, first of all, don't pay too much attention to the color. This one is very light, but this is actually kind of a light chestnut. They're usually darker than that. Um, but the first thing that is very obvious is that this one is bigger. So these horse chestnuts tend to be bigger than the regular chestnuts. Although, you know, you could find a big chestnut and a small horse chestnut and, and still be confused. So, but there's other ways. First of all, that these horse chestnuts are kind of round, whereas this, the actual chestnut, it has, generally has this flat side and it will always have this point at the end of it. And that way you can always tell a horse chestnut from an edible chestnut. 